Good morning and welcome back to the American Garage. Say, last time when we left off, I had just taken it apart, the record player turntable, and cleaned it up and got all the little, uh, little arms and stuff unstuck. And I put it back together and it didn't work right. There was a couple of reasons for that. So I lost the spring for the seven inch uh, uh, lever, okay? So the, there's three levers in there. One for 45, one for 11 inch, so the 45 is 7 inch, 11 inch, and then the full size LPs. And that's what these little sensors do. Well this one right here for the 7 inch, it uh, doesn't have a spring. So I ordered a new one, and I also ordered a few new parts uh, from Gary that we needed. We needed a new idler pulley, and we needed some, some uh, motor mounts. Now, look, I'm not going to lie to you. This was a challenging mechanism to figure out, and I've taken it apart and put it back together about four or five times so far. There were some other issues, like uh, it wasn't working right also because the mechanism that works the arm was all jammed up inside here, so I had to take that all apart. And so I fixed that. And now hold on, don't worry. Um, you may be thinking, well, Steve, I wanted to see you do that. You're gonna, okay? I had to take it apart four or five times so I could learn how to do it right. And so now today, what I'm going to do is, one, I'm going to show you how it works. And two, I'm going to take it completely apart and we're, we're going to re-oil it and show you what went wrong in there and put it back together. And I'll do it with the camera up close so you can see everything so that if you ever have to do this, you can watch my video and be able to put it back together, hopefully. Now... I cheated a little bit. I looked at Jordan Pierce uh, videos on how to take it apart and put it back together. It really helps if you watch somebody else do this if you've never done it before. Because just looking at your diagrams in the service manual, uh, it it's hard to figure out what each part does. So, first of all, let's do that. Let's talk about what each part does and how the mesh how the machine works so first of all the whole thing you don't need any power to make this thing work because it's all mechanical it works strictly on the gear off of here now before I get it started um, I want to tell you a couple things this arm here this holds the records down but when it gets to the bottom there's no more records and it hits a shutoff. So if it's down here like this, watch what happens. I didn't even do anything. It's still in off on my lever. And it's just going to raise the arm and put it back down constantly. Because this is telling it it's turned off. So we raise it and put it over just a little bit. And now watch. It will we'll go through the cycle. Oops. And now it spins freely. And if we go to the middle, it'll pick up and it'll put down and it'll come back put to put the next record on because this is an off. So we're going to go to the middle. I'm just spinning the, the platter so it'll make the mechanism work. And it comes over. And, and I'm going to put that all down, and now watch what happens. It's... And now it's stuck in the, in the cycle for setting it down and turning it off. So, it's still in the off position. So, I'm going to raise this up for a second. I'm going to turn this to on. And if I just turn it to on, it sets it down 
and away it goes. When I get to the middle, it brings it over. It's because this isn't down, it thinks there's another record on there. So it comes on over and sets down again. So now we're going to go to the bottom of the stack. And now I'm going to go all the way into the center. And now it's going to turn off off okay so we got it partially working right what the problem is right now is it doesn't set down in the right place uh, because that little spring is missing on the seven inch lever okay so it's time to take it apart again so let's move this out of the way first and we'll remove the center clip I'm still using all my little my little cups okay so I'm gonna keep some of these handy because we're gonna need them all right first thing let's take the platter off oh and did you see this little piece pop up here this is what lets the next record go down and then hold the rest of them in place and then we've got this other little lever here that I can make go back and forth. And that's what drops the records. All right, now we need to flip it over and make sure that we catch our bearing when it comes out of here, okay? All right, the bearing's stuck in there, so we'll, we're gonna leave it. If it comes out, then we'll, we'll put it in a cup. All right. So now we're upside down. We're going to mess with this later, but I want to focus on the changer mechanism first. All right. So let's see how quickly I can do this so that it makes sense to you as I'm doing it. First of all, I need to take the little lever that makes the, the, uh, the dropper happen. So let's take arm off of there okay now we're also going to put this guy in the cup as well and there's a ball bearing down in there so we're going to have to flip it upside down and get it out and there it is there's the ball bearing put that in the cup too the next thing take off this spring and put it aside okay now from here we're going to take this this and this loose these three not these three bolts that hold the slider in place now I have an older mechanism that has on this third one has a little spring that some of the newer ones didn't have and so we got to make sure that we don't lose that guy right there okay so we'll put those in the cup now here is the thing and I'm going to show it from a couple of different angles. This is the slider thing. And when the slider runs back and forth, it lifts and lowers the needle arm, the, the tone arm. Okay? So, there are a couple of levers on this side over here. And I'll change the camera angle so that you can see it. Uh, but basically this little arm right here and the little arm that is run by the on off switch right here they have to be right next to each other between the slot that's really important as I've learned the hard way okay 
Now, let me show you from this side, folks, is this is the on-off mechanism. Remember when I lifted uh, the that, that arm that holds the records in place and I explained how it turns on and off? Well, that works this little thing right here. And when we work this little thing like right here, uh, it interacts with the mechanism that makes this other little arm go to turn it on and off. And there's another little arm on the that this rests on. Now you notice this little piece right here that slides back and forth. Both of them have to be inside of there. Okay? Notice how they're inside of there. Now, I'm going to take it off where you can see it while I've got it at this angle. So I'm going to lift this up very gently. See how it released that one? Notice how they're both in there. This one and that one between these two pieces. Okay? So I'm going to have to very gently, I've got to work it out from underneath this thing here, slide gently back and forth and kind of angle it up a little bit. And see, it. I'll just gently work it out. There it comes. And now, there we are. And I'll set this aside, and while I've got this close up like this, I want to show you. See, this little guy pushes that thing there. And this tells it whether or not to turn it on or off. So these two, these two little arms, this one and this one, have to be interacting, and they have to be in here, okay, together. So remember that, you know, uh, I had some, uh, everybody else mentioned it that I watched, uh, but they didn't show it in that detail, so I wanted to show it to you in a little more detail. All right, I like this angle, so we're gonna continue this. So I'm gonna set my, my slide mechanism aside. Okay, now the next thing is we need to take our main gear cam off of here. And so I, one of my, I had a guy that was in here last week and he was a programmer and he says, oh, it's a little computer program. So before computer programs, folks, this is what we had. Now imagine, the guy who invented this figured this all out with a paper and pencil and made this all work. Oh, I gotta release the clip on the other side. So let's flip it over. Okay, I gotta take that clip off. And it's got a little spring washer too. And so we'll get that, we'll put those in a cup. Okay. Oh, here is that that bearing. So we'll take the bearing off there too. I'll flip it back over. All right. Still good view for you. I'm going to take this off now. Now, you see it's got little levers and things need to make sure that these are all free and well oiled. So if they're all sticky, you need to take it apart and clean them up and put new oil in so they work real good. Now we can see all of our little levers. Now remember this is the turn on and off mechanism. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take off this bracket right here with these three little bolts right here. Now these little nuts are even more persnickety than the other ones. So 
you got to make sure that you're real gentle with it when you're un when you're releasing him. Second one. Now before I take the third one, let, let me show you what this is doing. Okay, this little mechanism. These are the selectors for the size. Notice this one isn't springing back because the spring is missing underneath it. Okay, this one should be springing back and forth. Its little spring is missing. Okay, so we're going to take it apart and put the spring in there. Let's get this last bolt off of here. Now, this whole mechanism with the wire attachments, this all sets aside. Okay, now on this thing, make sure that this is all free in here and, and loose, okay? I'll set that aside. Now, this comes straight up, okay? Gets oil there and there. Put that with its, its three nuts. Now, I want to point some things out. Okay, so right here, there's this little spring right here. Don't lose it. Don't lose any of the springs, okay? Now, we're going to take loose this one and this one. These are the two arms that tell it if it's a 7 inch or 11 inch or uh, which one is which. This one is for the 7 inch and this is the one that's missing its spring. And this one is for the full size album I believe. So what it does is if it's 11 inch it doesn't trigger either of them. But if it's uh, if it's a full album, it triggers it. If it's a 7-inch, it triggers it. And if not, it'll just go to the 11-inch position, which is kind of in the middle. The big ones are, what are they, like 12 inches for the biggest ones, which is albums, 33 and a third. Okay, I have to get my other nut. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, these aren't difficult to take off because I've taken them apart a couple of times. And I use different cups for um, different mechanisms to try to keep myself organized. Okay, there's that. Now, this lever here, this is the 7 inch, I believe. It's one of the smaller ones. It's got that little button on the side of it. I'm going to put that in there. And this is the one that was missing its spring. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and continue taking it apart so you can see. Now this attaches to the tone arm. And when the tone arm moves back and forth, you can see how it does certain things. Okay? Make sure that these are all loose. Okay? As a matter of fact... Before we take this arm out, we're going to take this loose. Okay. So, holding it carefully so I don't so my little spring doesn't go flying everywhere. There's so many little springs in this thing. And if you lose one, as I've learned, the whole thing won't work right. So, Something fell. Oh, the piece that fell on the floor was the little rod that goes through. So I'm going to get that off the table. See this rod right here? 
when we released that clip in that spring, it fell through because that was what was on, it was on the end of. So I'm going to put it right in with the with everything else. Okay, now there's another little tiny spring in here, and it's got like a little keeper that it snaps into, like a snap ring at the top of it. So put your finger on top of that while you're taking it loose. Otherwise, it'll go flying everywhere, and you'll have to call Gary and ask him for a new one. I got it off right there. You can see that I oiled it, and everything is looking good. Okay. We went over how to clean all this stuff up on the last video. So if you didn't catch that, go back to the, the, the past one and have a look at it. Now this arm is attached to the tone arm. We got to get that from the top. Okay, but I think, let's see, if we move this, we might be able to get the arm out. No, no. Now, because I'm going to flip it over, this little spring that we're talking about over here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Um, picks like this are really handy for this kind of stuff. I'm going to put it in its own little cup. Okay. Now we are prepared to turn it back over. Just make sure you don't mess up this over here when you do that. Okay. Now it's got the wires attached to it for the tone arm. Alright. Now, let's lift the tone arm up. Change the angle so you could see it better. Now we've got to take this apart right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this little spring loose so it doesn't go flying, okay? So I'm going to unwrap it from the screw. There. it unwrapped it'll come out goes into a cup okay the next thing is I need to take this bolt here loose here it's loose right there. Then this little arm thing right here, it comes up next. Okay, so we'll take that, put it in our cup. There's a little washer underneath it. We'll put that in there too. And now whole mechanism. Now, if you haven't taken yours apart, this might stick and might be really jammed on there. Be real patient and real careful with it. But mine came off easily because I already went through that. Okay? And I'm just going to very carefully lay it to the side so the wire doesn't get messed up. Okay? Alright. Now, I'm going to put my hand underneath. I'm going to because this thing is going to come loose. Actually, why don't I just snap the arm back on its holder thing. I'm going to turn the whole thing over so you can see. There we go. Alright, now we can take this out. This is that arm that the tone arm is attached to on the bottom. Okay, we'll put that in our little cup. 
I don't know if you noticed, but everything is well oiled and everything is as it should be. So, of course, we're not going to clean it again. Okay? We're just going to make sure we don't mess it up. Okay. Now, the next thing is this mechanism right here. Now, there's a snap ring in here. This is kind of hard, okay? So, we're going to have to be real careful to get it out because it's a small snap ring. Let's see if I can find the edge of it where it's open. There it is. I might get lucky. It might come easy. I shouldn't say anything, though. Notice how I'm holding my finger on top so it doesn't go flying off and I don't have to buy a new one from Gary. Almost had it. Oh, for those of you who are just tuning in and don't know who Gary is, Gary runs the Voice of Music Enthusiast Group and he is the one who supplies parts for all these old Voice of Music record players. Most of the record players manufactured in the United States in the 50s and 60s had voice of music turntables in them. You know, so uh, even if you don't have a voice of music uh, record player, you probably have a record player that has a voice of music turntable in it. All right, I'm going to get two my little pick things. Let's see if I can do it that way. Now, I've got to hold it with one and make sure I keep a finger on top. And then the other one. I don't want that thing to go flying. It's got it. Right there. Ta-da! I did it. Let's put that in my tone arm cup. Now, this one should come off. Here it comes. Now, this is what I'm trying to get off. This piece right here. And it's got a big spring underneath it. And I can see the tail end of the spring over here. So I'm going to push this little end of the spring out and underneath. There it goes. And now that releases the pressure. Now I can work on that. I was messing with this one right here to try to get it off and I almost lost the spring underneath this little control arm. So before we go any further I'm going to take that little spring out. I'll move this control arm aside and I'm going to take the spring out. All right, I'm not going to play games with Henny anymore. This little lever right here, the spring is on the end of my screwdriver. I'm going to take him, I'm going to put him in a cup before he goes wandering again. All right. Now that, that lever is loose, but we got to get this one off of here. Okay, so I almost lost that spring, but I found it and I put it in uh, one of the cups. Now I was fussing with this one, trying to get it loose, and it wouldn't come up. And I forgot, you've got to turn it all the way over here, and then it comes straight up, just like that. So we'll put that one in our bucket with the other one. Okay, now let's also take the spring out that I ha was holding it. Now, what we have here is this lever right here is the on off switch. So, if I move this, hear that click, that's the on and the off. Now, we could take the switch out by removing all of this right here. It's not really necessary for what we're doing today, though. 
But if you want to, let me, well, let me just show you how to take it out. So I'm going to take this little piece off right here and we'll put it in a cup. And then and this is like a cardboard piece that comes off. And then there's this little like rick rackety piece. This is important, okay? It's got a slot on this side for the wire, okay? And then the actual switch will come right out. There, just wiggle it up and out it comes. And that is the switch right there. Okay, see it? All right, so there is our switch right here. And we can take that out if we wanted to, but we're not gonna take it all the way out. I just wanted to show you how it comes apart. Now, uh, down here, this is the switch. This is the lever that turns the power on and off, F switches the switch, okay? Notice what also it does is it puts the pulley up against the motor. Okay, now we've got all this out. We'll just take this arm out real quick. All right, now we have everything removed and everything is cleaned up. Now, if yours is still dirty, then make sure you clean it all up with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips, paper towels, just whatever you need to get in there and get it all clean. Thanks for watching The American Garage. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.